How's the drive, Tyler? It's it's great. I thought we were going shopping for me. I mean, I'm I'm experiencing it from a passenger side, I guess. I don't need it, but I want it. All right, Via Cross, YouTube Gold, absolute YouTube Gold. I'm sure taking this off roading and fixing and doing things. That's true. I don't have an off roader. Oh, here, well, we're shopping for me now. <laughs> Forget what? that. It's not for you. <laughs> This. Oh, wait a minute now, guys. Easy. Easy. This is a space ball manual. Yep. Oh, my goodness. Keys, please. Please. Really? This thing's been sitting here. Oh, man. All it's right. It's been a few years. We, should, we just threw a battery in it. Okay. So, I mean, to see if it starts, and I guess you can drive it. So, I'm your test pilot. You're my test pilot. That's, That's a really a bad decision. Test. Isn't this how you're supposed to drive a car that hasn't moved in two years? I'm pretty sure, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm buying it. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm buying it. Oh yeah. I mean, sold. It seems unreasonable, but it sold. 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 First, first one gets the bob, I guess. What? First one gets the bob. Welcome to Hoovy's Garage, the dumbest automotive channel in all of YouTube, and this is going to be a slight departure from the normal Hoovy's videos today because I am not going to spend any money. I'm actually going to spend somebody else's money, and that's uh, well, Elliot Alvis right here. Now, if you've been following Elliot, he's another Wichita YouTuber. I've bred a whole fleet of Wichita YouTubers, and uh, I've helped you find a few cars, like, uh, well, the free BMW that I gave you, that 528i stick on the Christmas special, but I also found you a Z4, which you crashed. Yes, well, I was crashed in two. You crashed. I was zero fault. And last week, we went to look at the Z4, and I determined through very scientific methods that uh, it's totaled. This is my PDR guy. Yes, big time. Now, another YouTuber that we we're going to visit today is Urination Bob. He's a friend of mine for over 10 years. And when I was a car dealer, he wasn't so much in the car business as, as much. He was more of a used parts dealer. He did rebuilders, but that business has changed a lot and it's not really viable. And when I gave up being a used car dealer because I was terrible at it, I gave him all of my sources of wholesale and tips and tricks, what little I had. He took it and ran with it. He's actually a legit businessman and he has built a hoopty empire out of Urination Auto Inc. And I really think he's going to have the right car for Elliot. There's tons of great hoopties out there. There's a couple that I think you're going to like. And I'm just going to be the hoopty matchmaker in this video. Yes, I'm, I'm excited. You've done it before. Have you gotten your money yet? No, but that doesn't mean I can't look. And if I find the right thing. So you're still fighting insurance on this? Oh, yeah. You know, there's that whole comparable thing. And well, it's, uh, it's never a fun or easy process. And it hasn't been. Well, this is dragging. So let's let's just let's go. Yes. Okay. Well, your nation, Bob and I, we go way back. He's been at this place for over 25 years, but I met him around 2008 when I bought my first car from him, and it was actually right here. It was a 450 SEL 6.9 at 76 euro. So my first YouTube videos, actually, uh, doing a burnout down the road with it. Uh, <laughs> But uh, here it is, urinations. Well, you know urinations, of course, but uh, this row, this may not be in your row of budgets. This is kind of his frontline hooptiness. I always make a Corvette work. I, I suppose, but I was thinking more down here in the hoopty row. We'll find urination Bob so we can get some prices here, but uh, there's urination Bob. Hoopy! Hello! My, my language challenge friend. How's it going? Hey, Bob, what's going on, Mr. Elvis? How's the neck, sir? Ah, better than it was a week ago. All right, well, what can we help with you guys with today? Well, we're hoopty shopping. Hoopty shopping. Well, this is definitely hoopty uh, category here, but this is like vintage hoopty, so. Right. This is one of the cars that actually was on my list for you. It's a, uh, yeah, Sunbeam Alpine. Yeah. It's the Z4 formula. Just, exactly. Uh, just like 40 years earlier. This is a, basically a barn find car here. Um, it actually runs and dries. We're just uh, giving it some, uh, got to put a clutch master cylinder in it and uh, bleed out the brakes. We just got done putting a rear wheel cylinder in it. So what do you think it's worth? I, I don't know. I would guess it would probably bring maybe six to eight grand. I mean, six to eight grand. Yeah, I would think so. Let's see what this thing does. <laughs> it's prime time, Bob. It's on video. <laughs> Battery challenged. Yeah. Guys, we need charged jumper packs. <laughs> oh no, heads are rolling. Yeah, this is the, this is kind of Bob's little stash, I suppose. 
Yeah, this is kind of where I keep, uh, you know, a lot of my personal stuff or or something like this little Audi TT uh, Quattro Roadster here. Whoa, this, this was works. a contemporary of the Z4, so. Yeah. 50,000 miles, VR6 car. Ooh, really? I, think, yeah, I believe there's only, it's a triple black car. I believe there's only like, probably around 200 of these cars uh, brought in in 04. And it's hmm. the first dual clutch. Oh, yeah, so that, uh, that. that speaks to, uh, to you, Mr. Elliott. Yes, it does. So how much is this one, Bob? Uh, I think I got it listed for $14,995. $14,995. That's, that's probably a little more than your Z4 settlement, just, just, just a scotch. <laughs> maybe, but, you know. Worth stretching for, maybe. Yeah. Uh, I mean, All right. I haven't seen a Quattro... Well, maybe since they were new. Really, what I had in mind for Elliot is your your hoopty row, uh -oh. as they say, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Are we going to the scratch and dinner? Area? Right, kinda. <laughs> but it should be beyond hey. this. The uh, mark, 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 mark would be cool. But somebody's already been there, done that, right? That's been done. <laughs> that has been done. The leaf? I, you know, that's how much is the leaf? Uh, the leaf is, uh, I think it's seventy nine ninety five. Really? Yeah. They are that cheap. That is my price range, but it would be tough to replace a Z4 with a leaf. Right? Yeah. You have a Prius. And I do have a Prius. So, something yeah. sporty, something to stick yeah. maybe. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> a Via Cross. Oh my God. You got another Via Cross. I just got that last week. Because yeah. I did a video on a Via Cross you already had. Yes, yes. I just found this one last week. And Look at this I color. Know, there's no way I can let a Via Cross get, get away from me. How many miles are on it? Uh, 200. 200,000 mile vehicle. Wow. Nobody's done a 200,000 no. mile vehicle. It's going to be the highest mile of the one. Just, and it drives perfect. No, I, I have one that's 215 in the back. Oh, never mind. <laughs> so. Okay. Well, what's the Elliott price? I mean, it's, if you had to sell it, come on. Okay. So somebody just literally, it's funny because I don't have it listed. Somebody literally just drove by a minute ago because they saw it. And yeah. Like, what, how much is that? And I told them six grand, right? Six thousand. Elliot price would probably be four grand, you know, because I just wouldn't even let it go. But that's not a, that's a good friend price and it's not for sale for four thousand. That's an Elliot only price. I, I just mean, want that to be clear. Well, we were looking for something sporty, they would but. Line up for that. But this is unique. This needs to be a contender, yes, I think. Yes, the uniqueness might override the sportiness yeah. of something else. Well, I'm definitely drawn to this truck, but once again, we're not, this is not what Elliot it needs uh, yeah, he is, needs a z4 is, replacement but this is, this is tyler speak here right here wow super yeah. super clean yes oh, man. this is a nice old man i've been driving this thing the last couple of days wow. actually. uh gmt 400 yes sir towing a baked 944 s2 cab yeah, exactly yeah. that's my donor car for the one in the uh in the shop we buy cars that we want to get on the road and they've been sitting for five years and they're done mm -hmm. this thing's sitting for 10 years I put the key in it and it started. So why are you killing it? It's well here <laughs> because it's uh it's weathered, uh, weathered really bad. Uh, the interior is just gone. 189,000 miles. Yeah. And the clutch, it's just this would be a never ever ending maintenance nightmare. Uh, right. Well, that's kind of sad, but it makes sense. Oh hey, huh? Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. Of the of Prius? Elliot spots the first gen. Prius. First gen Prius. Though. First gen Prius, of course. Look at this. It's in the weeds. I have a feeling it doesn't move, Elliot. Oh, but does it move, Bob? Well, it the interesting thing about this car is it's actually in really good shape, and it was one that supposedly only needed an engine battery. So we set it here to like to be determined, essentially, like what does this car need? So if you ever get a wrecked one that has a good battery, then you could. Well, but I'm not talking just the engine battery, so like, not the hybrid battery. battery. How much? How much? Oh, that car, I don't know. I'd probably sell it for like 800 bucks. It's worth more than that in parts. That's well, a cool project, but I haven't uh, ever seen first gens. So <laughs> I mean, it's Ooh. not really a comparable not Z4, Z4 replacement. Like oh well. Oh, cat. Uh, that <laughs> scared me. Okay. The Celica is dead, I assume. Yep. These are all parked cars. Uh, we had some thieves come in through here the other day and uh, liberate us from a bunch of wheels. For ah, frustrating. Five, ten dollars scrap yeah, all over wheels. Here. This is this a, is Saab, yeah. Yeah. The last generation of the uh, of the venerable nine five. How much? Mm, this car right here, running and driving, uh, twenty five hundred bucks. It's, it's fast. Prices, it's bet. fast too. It's a cool car. It's it's a cool wagon, but I'm looking. Uh, that's yeah. got. That's they're all dead. The running and driving yeah. car. <laughs> oh really? Wheel stolen. So it's going to the parts yard now. Really? Yeah. Okay. So dead. It's dead. I mean, for all intents and purposes, dead. This is uh, an A4, so it's car. dead. Yeah. yeah. It's but this. But uh, yes. This. Oh, wait a minute now, guys. Easy. Well, easy. This. Honestly, this is kind of why I brought Elliot uh -oh. here because I remember when he bought this car years ago. Uh -huh. And it is a very rare color. And then you're seeing it, right? Yes. 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 You come around here. I'm feeling set up. It now. is a space ball manual. Yep. Oh, my goodness. Yep. Oh. 
I'm feeling set up now. I, I think there was some intention here. But I remember the wheel thing. This one was missing yeah. wheels too, right? So I bought this car. I've had this car for probably two or three years. If I remember correctly, you bought this salvage. It was a hail car, right? Correct. Just because of hail. Exactly, yeah. It just had some hail on it and I bought it. Uh, I think it came from uh, uh, IAAI and as a running and driving car, I had all the PDR work done on it. This was, uh, this was going to be my driver. This was a, a dream car for me and uh, had a few little things to work out. The only thing that was to be yeah. done was I had a problem with the wiper module. I, I see that. Yeah, the wipers would not shut off. That is a way to fix it. So I parked this car here just because I was busy and I and it was a, a project, a personal project to be worked on. The thieves come in and stole the left side wheels on it and it's been sitting here for about two years. Really? And, uh, and it just, I've, Actually, it's just funny. Last week, actually, I ordered brand new tires for it, a brand new battery, and I'd made the decision this car is getting put All back right. to life 100%. All right. How much? How much? Oh, How much? Man. How much? Oh, how much? Oh, you're, 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 you're really. You're, it's salvaged, it you're needs dig, paint. You're digging into the It's personal. been sitting for years. I like that he's, he's negotiating how much? for me. Oh, oh. How much? I think I've got probably about 4000 in this car right now. $4,000 is what you sell it for. Uh, I said that's what I have in it. <laughs> Four thousand dollars, Elliot. That's what I heard. This is the three hundred horsepower, all-wheel drive, manual. manual. There's probably, you know, your YouTube people will come up with the specs, but I'm speculating there's probably two hundred of these cars. Yeah, every, built. Every one that I've seen has been automatic. It'd be a special order car, basically. Volvo would not order this car. Well, wow. so four thousand, four thousand, and then fourteen. Fourteen thousand for the. Yeah. Audi, the TT? Yeah, but that's that's retail ready to go. Though. Okay. You know, that's 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 prime. That's premium stuff. Right mm. There you go. Well, can we take them for a drive? Do they drive? That one drives. This one. You learn. know, it, it's funny. Literally, I just put the tires on. We just put a battery in it. All right. Well, let me go grab the keys. And I, there's something I want you to see in the back too. This really? might bring back some memories. You're, you're you're walking down memory lane. You're talking about the six nine and from our history. From our history. Really? Well, well there are yeah. a bunch of my old cars back a, there. I've got a secret <laughs> little uh, piece of history. Back Back there for us i think there's three or four of my old dead cars back uh there. if if not more so as we head in the back i think there's actually five cars back here because there's my old 300 td wagon from over 10 years ago right right there's the uh 325 ix sedan uh -huh. Uh -huh. i bought with a bad transmission the e30 that yep. car was stripped i saw it earlier uh my car issue show car from the, the sl500 that was the flood yes, one from yes. the hurricane yep. it's that's here living on through other cars the x5 yeah that i did that one video on not right. too long ago that's here that died here and then the Range Rover, that's how I first got on Doug DeMiro's radar, I was writing right. an article about buying a Range Rover for less than a CarMax warranty. I sold it yes. to some guy, it died, and now it's, it's out here. It's here. It and is here. It, and that's look, look right here in front of you. Another one. Yes, do you remember this car? This is a 1980 300 CD that I named MacGyver. Yes, yes. And, I was uh, wondering if you remembered. About 10 years ago, I think you took it in, right? Yes, and, I did. Uh, That's one of your cars. You were going to kill it, and I refused to let you kill it. Right, right. I kept it until I found somebody that would take it on. It was like a dentist or a doctor or something, and right? he's had it this entire time, and he has absolutely just loved this car. And then it, he's actually just moved on. He drove the car here. He drove it here to die. You're not going to save it again? Uh, not me. <laughs> What's the Tyler price? How much? Tyler price. How much? Well... With the, with scrap prices, this car is probably at least five six hundred bucks. Five or six hundred bucks. But it can't, actually it can't die. I saved it ten years ago. Yeah. It can't die again. Okay. Let me think. Let me think for a little. It's a lot. Of, it's a lot of cars for me to buy today. Oh, there's the other Via Cross. So that, is that one dead? Uh, no. Nope. That one runs and dries. Also, that one's that sold. Cool well, this is the one that I did the video on. Yeah. So um, yeah. Old school. let's see. Uh, so that's four cars I'm probably going to buy today if you have this. Wait, I'll think about this one. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you got the dealer plate. Yes, I do. And you got keys. keys. Okay. So we have a TT Quattro. Yeah. We have the Zuzu Via Cross and we have... Perfect. V70R. All right. Elliot, Let's I guess you can come off. if you want to. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 All right. Cold start. Sounds like a Volkswagen. Uh, try again. Flip the throttle one time. A little better, okay. I like the party trick on these though, the windscreen with the molded glass. Yeah. There's your Doug DeMiro moment. All right, I'll back up so you can get in. Sport mode. I mean, that's about 225 horsepower. Yeah, yeah. I'm somewhat spoiled with that uh, 135. I really like it. Yeah. But these TTs are definitely having their day or starting to, aren't they? Yeah, well, I mean, 
even from that though, that was so much more torque than my Z4 ever had. The handling in. test. Dirt road. Oh, somebody's ready. Tries to get there. We go. Watch for a wall wheel drive. Pretty crisp shifts from an early dual clutch too. Very nice. Yeah. Now, how's the drive, Tyler? It's it's great. <laughs> I thought we were going shopping for me. I mean, I'm I'm experiencing it from a passenger side, I guess. I don't need it, but I want it. Okay. What what could I possibly use this for? This open air motoring. I suppose. I don't have any other convertibles, no, do I? Zero. No, none. None. Not at all. No. All right, Via Cross. It has the Recaro seats. Yep. It is a sports vehicle. Carbon fiber. Oh yes. Look at that. Wow. Two hundred thousand miles. I've never been so excited to be in an Isuzu. <laughs> Well, this thing's certainly uh, rough, but it is yeah, straight up the curb here. Also, certainly the cheapest via cross in the USA. Yeah, I'm already testing up. Let's off road prowess. Yeah. That's a noise. Yeah, it's, it's some exhaust leakage. It's fine. That is that is a sound. It's fine. This obvious exhaust leak, uh, but the transmission, the torque on demand transmission, is working. <laughs> Actually, rides great. It does ride really well. This is a car. It's the yeah. cheapest via cross in the USA. It's Easy. YouTube gold. Absolute YouTube gold. I'm sure. Taking this off roading and mm -hmm. fixing and doing things. That's true. I don't have an off roader. Oh, here, well, we're shopping for me now. <laughs> Forget <laughs> that. It's not for you. <laughs> now the last one. That's the Volvo. Now you have to mm -hmm. let me drive that one. Mm -hmm. No. No. Come no. On. Absolutely not. No. Well, Bob, that's a very uh, distinct exhaust note that thing has. Yeah, you like that? Uh, just uh, exhaust muffler cutout? Mm. <laughs> Sporty. Charming. So, this. Oh, this. No. We just threw a battery in it. Okay. So, I mean, to see if it starts, and I guess you can drive it. So, I'm your test pilot. You're my test pilot. That's so a really bad decision. <laughs> that's a really, really bad decision. <laughs> On the blue interior. Wow. Yeah, wow. Cool. Oh, the gauges, too. Oh. Wow. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, get out. <laughs> Test drive's over. And the space ball. Oh. Look at that. Nothing to see here. Move along. This is so cool. Yeah. This I'm so glad I found it for myself. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Well, it starts, I guess. Do I need to move cars and yes. get it out? Yes, please, please. All Let's right, see if it moves forward here. Oh. It moves. Oh, it, let me see it real quick. Oh. We got it, some proof of this. There, you got a, a little bit of debris in your caliper here. Hang on. What's up? You got a little, a lot of sticks in. Oh, the, the vegetation has grown into. Yes, me. but it's okay. I solved it because we're shopping for me. Yeah. All right, first run in in years. <laughs> Every fluid in here is old. Yeah, and 100,000 miles timing belt, I'm sure, needs to happen. Yep. Oh, good. I didn't mean to do that, but it's got power. Oh, my goodness. And it sounds like a baby V10. Oh, is it some clutch slippage? Or no, no, that was a that was like a little miss there. It's definitely the cheapest V70R in the USA by Five thousands. Dollars. Even with the automatic ones, they yes. want eight, ten thousand $10,000. It does have a title though, but he says hail. it's because of hail, right? You know, no, and then no. the other thing I'm thinking, as a guy who just got out of a really bad accident, this is a Volvo, very safe, yeah, known for its safety, right? Oh, you're shopping for you again? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want it. Oh, brakes Brembo, are good. Brembo's work. Yeah. Good power. It definitely has a little bit of a miss still though. I wonder what that is. Well, <laughs> the rally stage, it's dirty anyway. Yeah. Isn't this how you're supposed to drive a car that hasn't moved in two years? I'm pretty sure, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I'm, I'm buying it. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm buying it. Oh, yeah. I mean, sold. It seems unreasonable, but it. Sold. 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 First, first one gets to Bob, I guess. What? First one gets to Bob. Right. Got the camera. Jesus. 
Bob! No! He's younger. He's got calves. Urination. Bob! No! What's happening? What, what, no. what just happened here? Just bought a ball, though. What? Yeah, you shook on it. <laughs> so is my Constellation price the diesel? I gotta see choice. if it starts. Loser's choice. Let's see if it starts. Actually, yeah. So you don't want to race for this one. Double nah. or nothing. Nah. You win. Flashing glow plug light, but yeah, nothing. Or did it have a starter button? That's right. Oh, you're right. It's MacGyver. That's right, it's MacGyver. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Good race. Good race. That's why I called this thing MacGyver, because everything was was ghetto rigged. Okay. Alright. It's alive! Give it a quarter throttle. It's got compression. Yeah. Maybe a little starting fluid or something, I don't know. Mm, got some? It's just because it's just glow plugs because it, it isn't uh, it isn't compression because it's got compression. Yeah, you wanna give us some ether? Yeah, that's definitely uh ground. That's all it needs. There it goes. <laughs> it lives. It's alive. Goes in the gear. Backwards. Yeah. Is that it was driven in? Forwards. That engine's strong. I mean, there's no pull by. The cap stays on. Man, it has a bunch of pull by and off. Yep. Unbelievable. It's, it usually it'll usually go whoop 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 right. like that. It has a bad hole. And then that hole will pressurize the crank mm. Dead even cylinders. Wow. Unbelievable. So I saved this car 10 years ago. I'm gonna save it again. If you want this car, I will buy it for you. If you, especially if you're a YouTuber and wanna make videos on saving this thing, as long as you agree to own it for another 10 years and cherish it and get it back on the road, I will buy it and then I will give it to you. Now, only if you actually have the means to come here and get it, pick it up, take it home, and you want to make YouTube videos about it, I will buy this car and I will give it to you because I saved it 10 years ago. I'm going to save it again. Elliot, congratulations on the Volvo. Uh, yes, thank you. Be sure to check out his channel if you want Volvo baseball content, which is really cool. I'm super jealous. So excited. And as always, thank you for watching. Bob insisted on a second take on this, so. <laughs> First as, jumper pack, take two. As the train is just screeching. Very nice.